So after GM being up yesterday almost 5% or even more, guess what decided to drop today? Now this makes more sense after the plant in Ontario being shut down. And today Trump threatens to cut GM's electric car subsidies because of plant closures. So that means any tax credit that buyers of electric cars were getting when they buy electric cars from GM, they won't. he threatens to not pay these tax credits. So that means buyers won't be that encouraged to buy electric cars from GM. Trump fights back. So it's kind of cool that he's not afraid to speak out and threaten big corporations. I mean, you would think that he has relations with big corporations and doesn't want to upset them, but it looks like he doesn't care and he wants he wants to keep jobs in America. So he threat so he threatened GM that if they keep closing plants in the states, then he's going to cut the tax credit that consumers were getting when they buy electric cars. So it's kind of exciting for an investor because for sure this for sure there's going to be some movement with GM. So I'm really happy I sold yesterday. We'll see what happens. Probably the stock will drop some more. I still think it's an interesting buy, but not right now. We'll wait to see what happens. I mean, 52-week low was 30.56. So I bought it at 34, sold sold at 37.5. So I got lucky. So I'll wait and see what happens. Although Yahoo gives it a one-year target price of 44. And it's a stock on Warren Buffett's list. So yeah. Definitely a stock to watch with what's going on right now and might give us a good buying opportunity. And I'm definitely glad I sold it yesterday. So today I bought some Alta Gas at 14.5. Here executions 100 shares at 14.5. And I bought 100 shares to make sure that I can sell covered calls, which I did. I sold one covered call or one option contract, which is 100 shares at 35 cents, giving me $35. So I collected $35 today from Alta Gas, $35 minus fees, of course, which is $11. So so collected $24 today from Alta Gas, which is on $14.50, which is a 1.6% return in one month. I sold the January 18, 2019 call at 16 strike price. So it's actually one month and a half with a return of 1.6. And so come January 18, if my shares aren't bought automatically at 16, I'll just keep selling covered calls. And while I'm doing that, I'm getting dividends from this stock. And also, if it ever goes to 20, then I'll just sell the stock. You can see for the past year, 52-week high was 29. It was trading at $29, close to $30 also. Past five years, the high, the high was 52. So it's been dropping for five years. And if we look since 2004, you could see that it's pretty. It goes through. It goes through ups and downs. It had an uptrend here from 2009 to 2014, crazy uptrend, five years. And then from 2014 to 2018, it's dropping hard. So it might go through another uptrend. We'll see. But in the meantime, it pays good dividends. It's got good potential capital gain, and hopefully, by selling covered calls, I'm getting a return from holding the stock as well. I mean, we looked at financials yesterday's revenues aren't so bad. They're, they're slowly increasing, but their net income is pretty pretty sad. 2016, they made 200K profit, but 2017, they're at 91K. So they lost more than half their profit from 2016. They've got $10 billion in assets and $5 billion in debt. So that's not so bad. Two to one ratio. But you could see that they have negative ret- retained earnings, so that means they're probably paying out too much of their profits. They're not keeping enough of their profits. They're probably paying too much in in dividends. So you could see that in 2014 they had a negative 185 million in the retained earnings, and four years later they're they're at negative a billion in retained earnings. So that means that they're paying out too much dividends, or they're not making enough profits. So hopefully they don't. Hopefully they don't reduce their dividends. I think it's a stock that's going to go up, but it might take some time. So I don't know if you noticed yesterday, but Questrade seemed to have an issue with their dashboard or interface here. The total balances were, weren't correct. They weren't matching with the balances here, but the balances here were the correct one. This one seemed to be outdated or even incorrect, but I only noticed, noticed it with the margin account, so not with the registered accounts. So for those who have a margin account with Questrade, you might have noticed that.
but it, it it's fixed today. So if we look at the stocks that Warren Buffett owns in in his Berkshire Hathaway portfolio, you can see he's got Apple. It's actually his biggest holding. So I bought some Apple. We'll probably buy some more at at 160 last time i bought it was at 178 so i try to keep at least 10 percent difference between every purchase price so i'm not going to buy it at 174 or even 171 i'll wait until it reaches like 162 probably missed out on johnson and johnson i wanted to buy it at 119 but i didn't now it's up now it's up to 143 jp morgan chase it's definitely a stock i'm watching it I think this yesterday reached uh, 107, I believe. I'd be more comfortable buying it at around 100. Visa as well. I bought MasterCard instead. I prefer MasterCard, but they're both very good companies. Bank of America, I find doesn't move much. I would need it to drop more for me to be interested. Verizon, I remember I bought it at 43, sold it at 50, so not interested at this price. Procter & Gamble, I bought it at 74, I think. Sold it at 84, now it's at 92. Coca-Cola has been moving at all for the past like three or four years. So this is a great stock for selling covered calls, but would require at least 100 shares, so at least 5,000 US. Right now, I think it's too high to buy. MasterCard, yes, I bought MasterCard, 182, I believe. So I'm happy that it's a common stock I share with Warren Buffett. American Express is just too high. Costco is definitely a stock I'm watching. I bought this initially at 150 but sold it at 170 But if it drops again, I'm definitely buying Costco. Personally, I'm a fan of Costco. Goldman Sachs is definitely a stock to watch. It's at a 52-week low. I mean, around 160 150 definitely a good buy. Kraft Heinz at $50, I'd definitely buy more. GM, I'm going to wait around maybe $31. I could buy some more GM. Oh, wow. Bank of New York Mellon is up to 51 this stock actually dropped to 46. Would have been a really good buy at 46. It went up quite a lot. So S&P S&P 500 didn't move much today. The Dow Jones moved up 100 points, so half a percent. So not not bad. Crude oil up almost a percent. Bitcoin, who cares? Nasdaq also pretty neutral, not moving much. So still hard to say where the stock market is going. But I mean, the fact that Warren Buffett is buying stocks probably suggests that there is no immediate crash. A big loser though on the stock market today is U.S. Steel, United States Steel Corporation, down 8%. One-year target price, according to Yahoo Finance, is 39. Doesn't pay much dividends, less than 1%, but it's at a 52-week low. It's even close to what lowest point was. The last lowest point was January 2016 at at seven. It was trading at seven. So I'm not too sure about this stock, but definitely worth watching because it dropped hard today. If you look at financials, revenues are decreasing since 2014, but from last year, revenues are up 20%. Net income, last year they lost money. This year, in 2017, they made money. Financials are looking slightly good. If you look at the balance sheet, total assets, they've got close to $10 billion in assets and liabilities, $6 billion. So not so bad either. Can't say that... Can't say that they're in a bad position. So I'm not sure if I would personally buy this stock, but it's definitely worth uh, watching because of how hard it dropped. Facebook dropped a little bit 1% today, closing at 135. So I'm prepared to buy more of this stock at around 122. Sun Life, I really want to buy some Sun Life if it reaches like 43. Definitely a stock I'm going to buy. This is actually a very good price for it, but I'd, I'd wait a bit. Right now it's paying 4% dividends at this price, but I think it can... I think it can reach lower. Michael Kors is really is taking a, a hit. 52 week close, 43 trading today at 44. 52 week high though was 75. So in, just in terms of just in terms of chart, it looks good. When your target price is 66, according to Yahoo Finance, doesn't pay dividends. Obviously, they missed the last quarter's estimates. So you can see revenue isn't really steady, isn't growing steadily. 4.3 billion in 2015, 4.7 in 2018, but it's been stuck at, at the 4 billion range. Net income also is actually decreasing, 800 million in 2015, but 600 million in 2018. If you look at the balance sheet, they got 4 billion assets with versus 2 billion liability. So actually, financials look good. Just maybe their net income is decreasing. So maybe maybe it's a slight exaggeration from the market. I mean, they're still profitable. They're just not growing their profit, but they're still very profitable.
so it could be a good buy if you if you trust the brand if you think that they're still going to sell and it's growing that they didn't reach their peak as a brand if they're still meeting quality expectations so i don't know maybe i'd put a thousand dollars in this i'm not sure yet would not buy 100 shares would not put 4400 us in this but it doesn't pay dividends so this would be more of a capital gain play maybe i'd put a thousand not sure yet we'll see but i'd be more tempted to put in this than united steel united states steel i'm glad vodafone went up today it's getting close to my purchase price although after market it dropped but we'll see what it opens at tomorrow I bought this at 22.8, I think. It dropped all the way down to 18.5. Now it's back up to 21.24. So it would have been a good purchase at 18.5, which I had an order on, but I canceled last minute. Pays dividends, pays good dividends, but it pays it only twice a year. So this is a stock that I'll hold until I can sell at 27 or even 30. I don't have 100 shares of it, so I can't sell covered calls, but I'm not far off. I could probably, if it drops again to 18 or 19 i could probably buy some more just to just to have 100 shares and then so that i can sell covered calls so for example if i were to sell december 28 covered calls at strike price let's say 23 i'd sell at 10 cents yeah that's not that's not going to be good so let's say i would sell i would sell probably at 22 could collect 33 cents so yeah that's decent bombardier closed at 2.25 so i'm up 10 percent on the or 12 and a half percent on the stock but I have to wait till December 21st to see what I can, what I will actually do with the shares, whether I will sell it or, or can keep selling covered calls. Mastercard closing on 192, so that's great. Nvidia also slightly up half a percent. Dollarama slightly up, also closing at 34. I bought this at 35 and at 40, so I'm down in both cases. Exxon Mobil up slightly, I bought it at 75, closing at 77. Orange, I bought at 15.75, closing at 16.95, so that's good. Amazon, slightly up, bought at 15.15, closing at 15.81. So we have a good mix today. Some stocks are up, some stocks are down. So buying opportunities that I would notice right now is probably United United States Steel, Michael Kors, and then, of course, keep an eye out on Facebook Google and Amazon. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of email requests about sharing my stock tips as as I place the orders. So if this is something that interests you, I'm going to provide a Facebook, a private Facebook group in the link below. If you're interested to sign up, I'll be posting um, on a daily basis any stock tips, any stock tips I have, any orders I'm going to place, when, what price I'm buying a stock, and at what price I, I plan on selling it. So for those who really just want to copy my orders, now of course it's not something I recommend. You should always do your own research. You should always be confident in, in in your choices because, as you can see, not all my trades are profitable. Most of them are profitable, of course, but I still have some losing trades like um, GE that I'm down 50%, HBC I'm down 40%. So it's, it's important to assume your own loss, but I have no problem sharing my stock tips. So if you're interested, check out the private Facebook group in the link below. And like always, if you're going to open an account with Questrade, to trade on the stock market, use my referral code in the description below the video to get between $25 and $250 back, depending on your deposit. If you like my videos, please share with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.